Hello, my name is Scott Hogg. I work for my family's peerless potato chip business and I will attempt to show you our process. This here is a front end loader we use to unload potatoes. We will unload approximately 48,000 pounds of potatoes off of uh, a semi that comes from Florida in the spring and as the crops mature, they come further north and the last of the crops come out of uh, North Dakota where they're stored through the winter time. And we have many different types of potatoes. We use Atlantics, uh, Pearls, and Snowdens are some of the names for the new potatoes we use. Pork truck rotator potato crate. Straps to hold the potato crate onto the pork truck. And right here you see a uh, this is a hopper, and it feeds something called a distoner, so that if there's any rocks or stones in it, it'll fall at the bottom. It takes the stones out of the potatoes, takes them up and auger, and puts them into the peeler, back into the peeler, which is a continuous peeler. This is where the distoner is where um, they're, wa is they're washed. Well, the whole the whole time. They're continuously washed. There's a little bit of washing going on in here. Uh -huh. Mostly, it's you know, it's it's removing debris. I mean, if you got like vines and leaves, it'll flow to the top. And if you have stones, they'll fall to the bottom. Uh -huh. Somewhere in between there, the potatoes, their buoyancy, they get taken up the scoop conveyor and get put into a peeler. And this is controlled. You know, this is on and off. So uh, yeah, you can step up here and take a look in there. Oh, this will hold. We put we can put about three thousand pounds of potatoes in here. And is this is this your day's load, or are you going to load it up again at some point today? Uh, during the day, we could cook anywhere from depending how hard we want to work. We could do up to seven seven crates, pretty much like a metric ton finished potato chips, like huh. twenty two hundred pounds finished potato chips. Now you get like out of a hundred pounds of potatoes, you will get. 28, 20-ish pounds of potato chips. The rest is skin and... Well, the, the, the skins are peeled off and the, the water is steamed out. The potato is mostly water, about anywhere from 71 to 68% water. Yeah. And that's replaced with oil process. So did you say this gets pulled up into the peeler? Right. This inside here is... Uh, they call it like a screw elevator. I got 10 minutes and it goes into the back of this peeler here. Okay. You can see the peeler from the other end. Okay. This is one end of the peeler. This is where a, 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 a peeled potato will come out. If it's soft, they'll get washed out. Uh -huh. And you get many slices out of one potato. Does everybody like to get pictures of this? These are the slices coming out. A little bit of starch is removed. So they're kind of dried a little bit. And then they go into the back end of the cooker. How does the starch get removed? Just through rinsing. Oh, I see.
cooked out in steam and it's, in the, it's getting replaced with oil. What, uh, what temperature is that oil at? Oil is about 330. The oil does the work. Yeah. The oil is doing the work. It's, uh, and the, the chips are in there about how long? Well, I guess about three minutes. Sometimes we can take a potato and mark it with a drill bit. Put holes in it. It takes about eight minutes all the way through. the operator gets here, control the, the paddles that dunk them, look for the bubbles, make sure they're not overcooked or undercooked. Uh, you know, the flavor, you know, it's, it's, it's right as soon as they're, they're still cooking right here. Uh -huh. You know, and, the, and they're cooled in the conveyor system so that they can go in a bag, because they can't go in the bag hot. So we can manually speed things up or slow them down. This is job one right here, making sure that they're not raw or overcooked too greasy. Uh -huh. That's really the important part. Here you've got cascading uh, sweet measures. Is there a way you measure how the salt gets applied? You pick one up and taste it. Yeah? It's Hopefully, all by taste, huh? Yeah, sometimes, uh, like I say, this would be nice to have a new salter. <laughs> What's that? This is an old salter. And here again, they're cooling. This is another inspection uh, to be inspected. They, uh, is that where um, up here they get? If you're doing a flavor, is that where it gets? No, actually they're cooling. Okay. I don't know if you want to climb up there. Go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> um, let's go on this way. 